Here is the, or oh, another, I suppose, experiment. Um, what we did here was um, we had a ryegrass, red clover, uh, lay, just a two year lay to try and clean up some of the um, brome and stuff. Um, and then we um, we uh, sprayed it off with Roundup back in the spring and that obviously left quite a bit of, round, of red clover behind and then we drilled it with a cross slot with spring beans and um, yeah it's sort of come come back with a lot of red clover in it and look at that one. and beans and it got me to thinking you know it's actually quite a good food source for uh, fattening animals on you know so do we actually need to harvest it well we do need to harvest it, but do we need to harvest it for the combine? Um, so we're just trying some sheep on there at the moment. We've got these um, ewe lambs and their well, shearlings now, aren't they? And, and their lambs. So 750 um, shearlings, and the norm, they've got about one lamb each, so 750 lambs. Um, you know, let's and see what happens. I mean, initially they haven't gone mad on the beans, as you can see down here. There's still, you know, plenty of pods left. What I'm hoping is that they'll find the pods. Pretty tasty, because when, when you eat the beans, they're, they're very sweet. So we've got to convert them, you know, from their grass that they've been eating, or herbal lay, so grass and clover and that sort of thing, uh, onto eating the red clover and the uh, and the beans and try and get something out of these, these pods. Um, yeah. Pod. For one of the reasons I moved them because it was looking a bit droughty and we thought, well, you know, we're going we're gonna to need some food from somewhere. And then we moved them and it was, we had all this rain. And 50 mil of rain um, over the two days. And uh, yeah, now we're thinking, oh, is that the right thing to do? But um, what we're getting now, you know, let's get up to the beans. As you can see, what we're getting now is that the red clover is starting to um, to shoot again where it's been grazed. So hopefully, you know, by getting the light in here and having a grazing, the red clover will start coming again so we can graze it a second time. So once we've got through this lot, we can graze it with them, um, we can wean and then graze the, the lambs through here on their own, on the red clover. Get them fat. Um, yeah, so this is the this is a bean crop, a spring bean crop, and um, what we really like about this is we spent very little money on it. We, we put no uh, insecticide on here for um, bean weevil at the beginning, so we, the, the notching was very little. Um, then we we put on a grass weed. Um, graminicide just to take the last of the ryegrass out. We put no broadleaf weeds on here, uh, weed control on here. Um, we put no uh, insecticide on here. Uh, sorry, no fungicide on here. Um, yeah, so it's cost us the price of the whole stock, pretty expensive um, to drill. And then, uh, and then the uh, a broadleaf, uh, sorry, a, a grass weed spray. And that's it. And so when you look at this, you know, I sort of thought, well, look, there's, this, there's loads of red clover. In here. You know, this, this doesn't need to be harvested by, by a machine. So, um, yeah, with the share farm, sort of thing in mind, I, was, you know, I said to a lot of the share farmers, look at this, it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be combined. It could be, you know, eaten by, um, by animals, harvested by animals. Um, we could fatten some animals on here. Um, trouble is, you can say all this stuff, but if, unless you know it, it's hard to sort of sell as part of a share farm thing. So the obvious thing for me was to say, well, let's get on the fire. Um, yeah, so I mean, they're leaving a map behind, but I think, you know, as they get more used to what they're trying to achieve, the sheep will calm down, they won't rush into it, so they won't tread so much onto the ground, and they'll get better utilisation. But we're putting a wonderful map back into the soil as well. Um, 
so I don't know what this way should be. Quite funny when you release the sheep into the um into the beans and they all you can't see them. Um, you just have to trust that they're okay for a day or two. You know, mastitis is over, we put them all for a flake uh, spray race just recently so we haven't really got a lot to wor worry about at the moment. Um, and you can see it was quite dirty in here so there's hogweed and all sorts of other stuff in here but some of the stuff they go for straight away and the leaves and now looking down these pod these uh, shafts there's not a lot of pods left eating so it looks like they're probably getting into eating the pods and then they've got chick chickweed and red clover still to in the middle of that so. um, yeah let's see how it goes stunning view up here as well